All right, Sketchpad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, subscribe to the page. So today we're talking about foundational black Americans versus other people of the same color throughout the world. And do they consider themselves black? And uh, S got some good takes. I got some good takes. So we're going to go off on this. You know what I'm saying? So look. So here's the thing, right? And... I ain't got my shades on, but I'm going to put them on for this one. <laughs> so here's the thing, right? I think a lot of people throughout the world associate the word black with uh, find it foundational black Americans, right? So all the people throughout the world, I believe that a lot of people don't consider themselves to be black. They consider themselves where they're from. So if I ask you, S, if someone says you ask somebody from Nigeria, what are you? What are they going to say? If somebody asks me, if I ask you, what am I? And if I ask a person from Nigeria, what are they going to say? If I say, what are you? Oh, if you ask a person from Nigeria, what are they going to say? They're going to say they're Nigerian. Okay. If I ask a person from Jamaica, what are you? Do you think they're going to say they're Jamaican or they're black? Now they're going to say they're Jamaican. Haitians, same thing, right? Mm-hmm. Any any part mm-hmm. of Africa you go to, they're going to say they're from that country. It only comes down to foundational black Americans where we say we're black. We don't say we're American. And that's not our fault. I'm not going to sit here and blame that on us. It's not our fault because a good portion of us been fed this narrative that we have to be separate from America. So we are called African-Americans instead of just being called Americans. And when you are called African-Americans, that means that you're black American. Now, every other ethnicity doesn't use the term America, uh, blase, blah, American. You don't see white American. You just see American. Usually if it's Asian, some people may say Asian American, but most people say American. If they're from Asia, Mm -hmm. if they're from America was with their descendants of Asia. So my thing is, I think it's unfair to call certain people a certain ethnicity if their family lineage don't don't uh <coughs> acknowledge that <coughs> and i'm not going to say no names i'm just going to say some people <coughs> acknowledge that they're from where they're from but they'll you'll never catch them saying that they're black americans or they're black so how can we basically represent somebody that won't even acknowledge that they're black. Why do I have to acknowledge that this person is black? If that person don't even acknowledge that they're black, how, why would I have to do that? How, how is it that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I hear you. What, what I was going to say was, Basically, all right, so yes, you are correct. Most people that are of color that are from another country always identifies with their place of birth. They don't identify with the United States of America. But here's the catcher, right? Those same people, regardless of their accent, if they come to the United States, and they get pulled over by a, a race. And I'm not, I'm just using it as an example. So y'all could chill in the comment section. Just relax. I'm just using it as an example to try to like, you know, prove a point on what on what the human mind, what people think. So if say for instance, a person of color comes to the United States, right? born from another country, comes to the United States, they get pulled over by a racist cop. 
What do you think that cop is going to identify them as, regardless of their ethnicity, regardless of their accent? What do you think they're going to recognize them as? Okay. This is what, and, and, and I'm going to say this. I hate when people do extreme hypotheticals, right? But in this case, I can understand why you're doing it because we're talking about race. So I'm mm -hmm. not picking on you. I'm just saying, and I know you're a grown ass man. I, I know. I don't mean to say picking on you. <laughs> say, yeah, like, I know. You know, I know what I mean? Saying, yeah. But, um, yeah. um, extreme, extreme measures. So let's just say there was a racist cop. Of course, because you, your argument, the way you set your argument up, you basically already gave it away. So even if it was a black American and it was, they pulled him over, you already said the cop was racist anyway. So, so like, what are you saying? So you're saying the cop is already racist. So either you yeah. got to say all cops are racist that pulled the people over or no cop is racist. And the cop that pulled them over mistaken them as a foundational black American off of their skin color. You get what I'm saying? Because I think it's unfair for you to say, for you to preference your argument by saying he got pulled over by a racist cop. They're going to be treated the same way. Yeah, of course, because it's a racist cop. You know what I'm saying? Racist cops don't care if you're from Jamaica black or if you're from um, Haiti black. They don't care. And that's my, but that's my point. That's, I, that's I, my point. I get your point, but I'm saying yeah. it, within your point, you basically making an argument that's kind of defeating your own argument because you're saying that the cop is already racist. You got to pick a but cop that, that's not racist that identify them as black, even though they're not racist. You get what I'm saying? Well, well, I get what you're saying, but what I'm saying is that, you know, they already, they already given out that they're not black. You can hear they, 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 that's what, that's what they identify as their country. So the cop don't even care about that. All they care about is that their skin color is But that's this, a racist cop that's, how, that's a racist cop. But, but that, but, but that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So what I'm, what I'm, what my point is that it's not going to matter if they, if it like, of course it matters to them. It will matter to us or whatever, whatever. But what I'm saying is that outside of that, it's not going to matter. Yeah. You're okay. always going to. Hold on. Hold on. Now, look, yeah. here, this is your argument. This is what your argument says to me. Right. You put you put a scenario where you put a racist cop and no matter what skin color they are, if they're dark skin, he's automatically going to look at them as black. Right. Yeah. That's the argument. But what I'm saying to you is. That argument is flawed because you are using a racist cop. Not mm -hmm. all cops are racist. Number one. Oh, I, I know that. I know okay. that. But I, so I have to use the racist cop to. Well, to you only using my... you you only using a racist cop so you can win the argument. You're not you. Um, you are. No, Check it out. I'm gonna tell you how you doing it. You, you think you slick? You think you real slick? <laughs> <laughs> you slick? You know what I'm saying? You ain't slick. I know you. You ain't slick. Look. So what you're doing is you put in a hypothetical situation where you basically saying that a racist cop, no matter what they come across, they automatically going to say that these people are black. Right. But my thing is, you are using a racist cop. Why not just use a regular cop? Why not but use a regular, regular cop and say, but, well, the regular cop thought they were black. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, see, but, but, but see, that's, but see, that's my, that's my thing. It's easy to do that. It's easy to do that. What I'm saying is that a racist person is always going to identify them as a black person, regardless. A, 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 a cop that's not racist will just go back and just say, oh, OK, I didn't know like you, but I see your skin color. So I automatically identify you as such. But a but racist look, cop look, don't, again, give too, don't care. Again, again. What you're saying, you're looking at through the lens of a racist cop. Okay, how about this? What if me and you went to India, right? 
and we look like we look like uh we don't look Indian, and we got pulled over by some Indian Indian poli policemen from policemen from India. Do they treat us like the white cops, the racist white cops there? Do they treat us like that? How do they treat us there? I mean, well, I would have to be in India to really experience that, so I, I wouldn't, I couldn't the, the, be. So the point you. I'm trying to make to you is, is you using a racist cop argument? I understand what you're doing, but at the same time, if we're talking like, let's say percentage of cops, a percentage of cops, how many percentage of cops you think is racist? Ra uh, and you know what? I'm, I'm gonna say. There's a difference between, well, at least this is what they say. There's a difference between being deliberately racist or being non-deliberately racist. What I mean by non-deliberately would be people will be have racist tendencies that they don't even know it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't agree with that for the most part, but this is what they're saying. So are you saying that you coming across a cop who you know is racist? That's the cop you're talking about? No, or you don't know that, the cop that, is racist. Oh, you talk, you, all right, so how many, what would be the percentage in your head to how many cops you believe is deliberately racist? Like calling people niggers and all that. Hmm. I mean, like, I would say. Out of, out of, say out of, of let's say out of a hundred. Out of a hundred, maybe like, maybe like a good 10%. That's say 10, 10 people. 10%, 10%, 15 So you think out of 100 cops, there, there are 10? So there are 10, out of 100 cops, you think there are 10 racist ones? Like deliberately I racist? Mean, I mean, I mean, it could be like, it could be, you know, like, I don't have to be correct on this, you know, this is just so a So out of a million, guess. that's 100,000. Mm -hmm. This is 100,000 cops, you would say. So out of 10 million... That's a million, I believe, right? It's a million. Yeah. So you like, think there's this, you think that that's how many so out of a million out of ten million cops you think is a million? I don't I don't think I don't think that's how many. I'm just looking at it. I'm just looking at it from like just a rough guess. Like I'm not I'm not hundred percent. I'll put it to you like this. This is what I think. I like people might think I'm crazy. I don't think that there's really no deliberate racist cops anymore. I do believe that there's some racist people by maybe by uh I don't think it's hard to say this. I don't think a lot of cops are racist. I just think that their training is bad. And I think that they're they're the way they're trained, most people that they come across are black. And I sound I know it sound crazy. But most people that they come across are black and, the, and most black people that are in these neighborhoods with these cops or in these neighborhoods, it may seem like these cops are racist because it looks like they're targeting black people. In my head, I don't think that they're targeting black people. I think they're just following the law and some of them are excessive. And but you have a lot of people who break the law. And since they break the law, some of them are excessive. And it's just to me, there's a big ball of confusion. That's how I look at it. Now, as far as people coming from other countries, back to what we were talking about. Um, I don't think that because you come from another country and people, they look at you as the same color. I think that that still more leans more on the side of my argument, because how can you say that you are Nigerian if you look like me? But when you come to America, you experience all the things that we experience. You get what I'm saying? So it was more of the land that you are on versus, all right, I'm going ask you this. If I went to Nigeria, would they treat me differently from Nigerians? Yes. Why is that? If I never said nothing, if I never said anything, never said I just kept my mouth shut. If you never said anything, they'll treat you just like a Nigerian. As soon as you open your mouth, they will treat they will treat you as different. You know what I mean? They'll treat you as an American. But 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 here's the catcher though. They will treat you as like um 
American with money because you don't look like them. You don't look like them. You don't dress like them. You don't talk like them. You understand? So first thing that in their mind is that this guy, this guy is wealthy. This guy's from the land of the rich. So now they will do everything in their power to become your friend. They will ask you questions. They will drill you like in the pause. But I mean, they would literally like, you know what I'm saying? Really be like, but, if you yeah. ask you. So, yeah, but look, right? But, look, so look, I was, the only reason why I asked yeah. that question is, so yeah. I couldn't go there and say that I'm Nigerian, right? Why couldn't you? I'm not if they from didn't Nigeria. They not Nigerian. I'm but not they Nigerian. Could, they, 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 don't, they don't know that. But no, they I'm saying, that. okay, that okay. so that goes right back to my point. So if a person who's here who doesn't claim to be black, how can black people still say that this person is a black person when they don't even claim to be black? They don't claim to be I mean, black. Well, they're they're let's say they're what... they're say let's say they're uh their uh their parents, their lineage, lineage or whatever you call it, right? Their parents say that they're not black because their parents say that they're from Haiti. So let's say, for example, right? Let's say my 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 mom was Haitian, right? Mm -hmm. And my dad was, uh, I don't know, from Panama, right? Or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then people said to me, oh, you're black. Would you consider me black? If my father, if my mom, if you ask my mom, who's from Haiti, if you ask her, are you black? And she says, no. How could you consider me black? If my mother says that I'm not, that she's not black, she's Haitian. Is it because of the skin color? Because if that's the case, then everybody in the world that looks like us would say that they're black. Everybody. But they don't because the negativity that surrounds black and not even negativity because a lot of people don't use it as negativity, but the word black thrives from us here, mostly not in these other countries because in these other countries, they don't consider themselves black. They consider themselves where they're from. So if my mother said, Oh, I'm Haitian. How can you say that I'm black if my mother says I'm Haitian, that she's Haitian because of my skin color? That's the question I have for you. Well, like I said before, you know, um, at the at the end of the day, it really don't matter what I identify you as is what you say that you identify yourself as. But yes, if I see you, if I see you and I'm like, yeah, he's black. You know what I mean? But no, you it got does. Same it does colors. matter which you identify me as. You know why it matters? But if I don't, but if I don't know, if I don't know that you're, if I don't know that you're, that you don't identify yourself as black, then you know what I'm saying. But, you but do I'm know. identifying you as black. You do know. But okay, so you saying like if the the mother already, if I already know that you're black, well, no, no, that, no, that, no, that goes. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is. You do know that I'm not me, but we're speaking in hypotheticals. You do know that this person is not black because they already admitted that they're not black. So why are we still calling them black if they already said that they're not black? Because that's how that's how society depicts everything. That's the system that we're under. That's what everybody that's what we're trained. That's what we're trained to think. That's what we're trained to say. That's what they do on the uh, applications. It's it's all it's all a system. That's what they do. So, so even you if know, you're wrong, so, even if I tell you I'm not black, but the system is telling you 
to say that I'm black, even if I tell you I'm not black. <laughs> well, te- I'm, if you're telling me you're not black, then I'm not going to call you black. But as far as society, as far as the system itself, they're always going to depict you as black. Do, because of like, the skin. Because of the skin. Exactly. Or that's person what, of that's, color. It, exactly. So that's what that's what goes back to me saying, if you were in Nigeria and you didn't say a word, they will look at you as a Nigerian. Even though you look different from everybody else, they'll just say that, you know what I mean? You're just different, you know? You know what I mean? When well, I went down... Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, when, when I went down there, you know, like, I was told, don't speak too much. They was like, don't say nothing. That's what they told me. Don't say a word. You understand? Even though I, even though my family's Nigerian, even though I, my, my culture descended, all that, they told me don't say a word. So... A lot of times when they were doing, talking to people, negotiating, whatever the case may be, I didn't say anything. So they identified me as a Nigerian, even though I'm of Nigerian descent, but I'm not fully Nigerian because I was born in the States. But what I'm saying is that's how they identified me as. But as soon as I open up my mouth and they hear the American accent, they're like, oh, hey, you're not. <laughs> so, hey. Okay, so look. Now You're look. So you basically are saying, off of what you just said, right? Don't say nothing, and they're just gonna identify identify you as a Nigerian, right? Follow me with this one, right? But when you come mm-hmm. to America, even if you don't say nothing, they identify you as black. Mm-hmm. The the only thing the only thing that I could say that could really give 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 a different vibe as far as a black American and a Nigerian American or whatever is, you know what I mean? Just the whole outlook, you know? And I know it sounds weird, but being, being raised in an African culture, I could see like the difference between a, a African American and a Nigerian American or a straight up Nigerian and a, you know what I mean, or whatever. I could see the differences. I could see the differences in complexion. I could see the differences in the facial features. So I kind of like know, like, yeah, they not, they they're not fully, they're not American. You know what I'm saying? Or they're, or they're American, or they're American. They're black American, but their parents are from a different country because, because of their facial features, because of their whole outlook. You understand what I'm saying? So. Sometimes it could be identified as that, but that's a whole nother, that's, that's a whole nother say. conversation. The, the culture is totally yeah. different from just the skin color. And I mm-hmm. think because somebody is a person of color, doesn't make them black culturally. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And if mm-hmm. I just don't agree with a person who say they're not black, and we are calling them black. That's what I don't agree with. Um, yeah. But it's all in love, all in fun. You know this. You know what it is. Um, Good yeah, conversation. So, hey man, it's a great conversation. You know what I mean? So we be out. We out of here, man. See y'all. Sketchpad. You know what it is. <laughs>